Mongols versus Mayans. All right. Uh, Mongols, going to be the aggressor here, 100%. So if you're not going really fast scouts, really fast men at arms, something like that, then you're playing the Civ wrong. So we will see what you are going to go for here. Um, I think Arabia always spawns with elephants these days. I think they changed it with the new patch. Um, so it's better for Mongols, obviously. You have the faster hunt. It's good for Mayans, too, because their hunt lasts longer, so they have even more, but still. Um, yeah, full scouts is really strong, because you always get the advantage by being up so fast. And even your starting scout, you get up on, like, 17 pop, 16 bills, um... And your opponent might not even have Loom if they're up late, so. Or even if he does have Loom and he's trying to wall, it's like, you can still pick off a, a Bill. So, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Um, Yeah, so far, it's it's kind of fine, I guess. Would have put a Bill in the hole in the Lumber Camp, but not the biggest deal here. Houses in front of the berries, beautiful. And, yeah, the hunt comes in so fast, so you have to really be careful here. Ooh. With the garrison, you'll be fine, though. <laughs> so close, though. That was a nail-biter. All right. Um, but this is mines this time. What do you mean? Um, okay. Mill coming up. Very nice. And time to go scout. Let's take a look at your scouting. Oh, that's the wrong hockey. There we go. Take a look at the scouting. Uh, let's see. So, he's not going to be up here. Because you're, if you're spawning on the top side, kind of, like this side, I don't know. It's kind of weird if he would be up here. But, it's, it's fine to, to scout up here. I like to scout kind of like a little more central, I guess. I don't know. I would have scouted like this direction. But I guess you do have to pay attention. If you scout like this, then you'll never run under the TC. Uh, except if you're not paying any attention. Oof. Okay, well, that is really bad. Because, like, the whole advantage of Mongols is to go up fast and use the scout to do stuff. So now, you kind of lost the Mongol advantage now. Because now you're up, you're up faster, but it doesn't matter because you don't have a scout, so you can't do anything. Um, yeah. So... Needed to be uh, quite a bit more careful. Because now by the time your scout's up, he's already going to have stuff. Uh, but, like, imagine you have one scout right now. He's just going to... Well, he doesn't really have anything super exposed. So you probably wouldn't be able to do too much. But, did you scout this men at arms coming in? Mm, you saw the the barracks, so you can assume. Um, And you walled everything, so that's good. Wait. Walling to here. I mean, you might as well just go to here and then, like, go to here. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's like you had an idea to wall here and then you decided to go here. It's fine. As long as everything's walled, it's all good. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're good. With Mongols, you can spam scouts for a very long time. And, uh, yeah. Well, you can't really make any more because now you only have nine on food. So you need to get to 14 on food to maintain scout production. Uh, 15 on food because you're relying on berries, actually. So, um, yeah, 15 on food here is kind of the goal. But you can always sneak a scout in here and there, um, even without constant production. That was a good pickoff. Really nice. Running from the spear. He's here, though, so you have to pay attention. It's hard, though. Every once in a while, you want to just go back to your base and just pay attention to this. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can repair. You can always build a house there as well. Uh, but if you get a house here and he towers, then you, you have to delete, but still. You're just getting a house means you don't have to pay as much attention. If you repair, you have to pay more attention. Like, look, if you built a house and then didn't have to pay attention to that, you probably wouldn't have lost your scouts here because you would have been paying more attention to the scouts. So, I, I like just getting a house here. <laughs> nice uh, nice deletes on the, the thing. Eh, you, you only have one scout here. Yeah, okay, you're gonna clean them up. You lost one bill for that. Wait, what is this wall? This is highly unnecessary. Um, I mean, if you're gonna wall, like, just wall to this wood line. So if you go here, then you have to go here. And then it's, like, a bunch of extra space. 
I don't know. It's just a bit exposed. Like the opponent should have archers, and he could he could like kill you here, basically. I don't know. You're gonna go forward with these. Um, adding archers against Mayans is mm, not my favorite, I guess. It's not really necessary. You could have gone skirms with fletching, and they're still doing two damage per hit to the to the men at arms, and then you can also kill his archers. Whereas if you go archers. I mean, you're playing archers against Mayans, which is not really what you want to do. Just a few skirms, and then you're fine against archers and men-at-arms. So, yeah. Um, he, luckily, he's chilling at home. If he had attacked you, and he had just been up here with fletching archers, he would have just killed you, actually. So, this is this was such a risky wall. Um, but anyways, as Mongols, honestly, their best play is Step Lancer. The extra HP on Step Lancers... Makes them so strong. And, uh, yeah, they can kill everything. With a few knights mixed in as well, the tank. Something like that. You kill all like that. And nice uptime. So both players about the same uptime. So, um, yeah. Mines is just ahead because he is Mines. And he just gets a vil at the start of the game. So, yeah. Mm. Step Lancers is definitely the play. Um... Ooh, you have a lot of skirms, so you're going to go skirms to start, which, I mean, it's not bad. It just leaves you vulnerable to eagles. So if you're up against an eagle sieve, you really feel like you don't want to go skirms. Because it's so easy for the opponent to just, oh, that's exactly what he's doing. It's so easy for the opponent to just be like, oh, I'm not going to make ranged units. Or maybe I open with ranged units and then add eagles and then the, the skirms are kind of bad. But if you just go straight into Step Lancer here, you counter everything. Wait, we have enough for a castle? Wait, why do we... I didn't even realize you were on stone. What are we doing? Ma Mangadai is insane in the late game, but a horrible unit to open with. They train really slowly, and they're kind of just worse than CA right now because of that. And you still need a bunch of upgrades for them too. So, yeah, Mangadai... Like, Mongols... Cav archers fire faster. If you want to go cav archers, like, go cav archers. Opening with Mangadai is just not good, unfortunately. Um, unless you're using the castle to drop or something, like, drop it on his face and then secure area and then go Mangadai. But, like, a castle here, not really doing that much. And, yeah, Mangadai just train too slowly to make it viable. And also, you're going Mangadai against, like... He has crossbowmen, so... Mm. I don't know why Red hasn't attacked yet, actually. It's kind of weird. Usually, when you go up, you want to hit as soon as possible in Castle Age with your upgrades. But if you're just chilling... I don't know. Um, You're on 1 TC, so if you didn't go for the castle and you went for something sensible, like Step Lancers, you'd be on 3 TC here, and then you'd be good. Um, You also went for Skirms. Like, yeah. I mean, this is what happens when you go Skirms, is they die to Eagles, right? So, just as a general rule, you really don't want to be playing skirms against um, eel sieves. Unless you really have to. At this point, you're actually okay. Your army's pretty strong. Oh, it's not strong enough to fight these, though. Your army's still pretty good. And one thing that your Mangadai do do better than... Um, than the uh, cav archers is that they're they're a little bit nicer to micro, so they are kind of good. In another game where skirms killed me as mines, well, you should have gone eagles then probably. There we go. Um, yeah, you can kite this back pretty easily. The, like these these eagles will die pretty easily. You do have to do with some attack with micro. Yeah, look, like they they die instantly. No need to run from these. There we go. Nice. And you have ballistics too, so you just dominate all. Nice. All right, now it's starting to pay off because Red just decided that he didn't want to attack you at a good time. So finally, after like 10 minutes of Castle Age, you now have enough Mangadai to do something with them. Um, but in the meantime, you should have already died, but uh, you didn't, so that's good. And forward Siege, okay. It's kind of hard to deal with these Eagles, but well, if you wall them out, you'll be okay. The thing with Cav Archers and Archers in general is that they're not very good in low numbers, so... It's hard to defend raids and then also attack with archers because you can't really split because these units are kind of useless when you have like four of them You're taking so much free damage here um, But then you know if your Mangadai are here, he can go here 
which can be really annoying. So you don't really want to split your units, but it's like you're almost forced to to deal with raids. But uh, yeah, opponents way ahead in villager count because you added TCs late because uh, I mean Mangadai opening takes a lot of upgrades, requires you to add the TCs late. It was a good thing that you didn't try and force your TCs up early because you wouldn't have been able to afford it. But uh, yeah, well, this could be a good raid. Okay, you need to use attack move micro and not focus fire though. Focus fire has so much overkill in these numbers. Oh no, oh no. You really need to be paying attention. Ah, oh, yeah, see, rule number one of sieging is don't leave your siege alone. Um, rule number two of sieging. Uh, constantly make mangonels so that you actually have units. So we broke both of those rules here. Um, but you were able to make the raid work. You could have accomplished the exact same thing without the siege workshop, though. I think at this point, it's better to just go imp. So you're already on 80 bills. So what needs to happen? Probably just need to fix your economy. You have another... Wait, you have two castles? No, just one castle. Okay, never mind. It's just showing two because you have two queued. Um, yeah. Getting to Imp is kind of the next priority because you're not going to really be able to break him, most likely, from this position. You did your damage. You're ahead in score. Your Mangadai are going to be better once you get um, like into the next age. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you try and overcommit here, you, it can be disastrous. You already did, like, mid-Castle Age attacks. But at this point, this Villager count, it's it's almost always better to just think about going Imp. You, you still have a big army. If you lose this army, then you can't go Imp because you can't protect yourself. But um, if you have this big army, you have 80 bills. You don't really have any Siege prepared already, so you can't really push anytime soon. The best thing to do is just to go Imp. And then play from Imp. Uh, so let's see what happens. Picking off Eagles for free is always good, though. You can keep running around with these things, but committing to more Siege at this point is not the greatest. We just need to not lose this army. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Losing a guy. I mean, he's losing more, though, so it's fine. There we go. Ah, uh, but you're not using Attack Move, Mike. You're using Focus Fire, so the Eagles are getting so many free hits on you. Look, look at this. Like, you're losing... Losing two man, losing like three, four mangadai there just for free. With attack move micro, you don't even take a single hit. Oh, you guys are super weak, so let's take Tokoraka's advice and put the dudes in the castle for healing. Uh, okay. Wheelbarrow, yeah. All right, time to go up. Both players are thinking about going up here though, so that's good. Nice. Let's not lose the guys. Ah, we're losing so many guys. Ah, we lost like five mangadai. Eagles are cheap. Mangadai are expensive. We can't lose anything there. So expensive. There we go. Yeah, I would suggest just go into single player. Or go go to my micro scenario and just spawn a bunch of AI units. And just, just practice attack move kiting them back. And, uh, yeah. Be good. Do Mongols get herbal medicine? I have no clue. It's honestly not a bad tech to get in this situation. But, well, you want to be using the Mangadai, though. Like, if the Mangadai are chilling here, they're not dealing with the raids, so... I don't know. Both players up to Imp at about the same time as well, so... Neck and neck here. Um, You could go for Handcart on the way up. Light Cav! Why are we going Light Cav? Why are we going Light Cav? Levid! Levid, you need upgrades for the Mangadai first. You can't make this transition yet. You need... You need Mangadai upgrades first. No... So you're going to basically, instead of having full upgrades on Mangadai, you're going to have like five Light Cav that are just going to die for no reason, basically. Yeah. Is attack move better than stop move micro? Yes. In almost every situation. Okay. But look, we have Light Cav instead of Elite Mangadai. So what's better? What's better? Having like five Light Cav or having Elite Mangadai for all of your dudes? Elite Mangadai is an insane upgrade. So yeah, Elite Mangadai is the answer. You go for Elite Mangadai, and then you go for the Light Cav transition. You don't you don't try and do both at the same time. You're going to get Elite Mangadai, but, uh, well, Red should have been pushing you already. I mean, Red has 64 dudes already, so that's uh, that's a bit scary. I think your, your castles were maybe idle, or wait, where is your other castle? Wait, are you on one castle still? Okay, yeah. I mean, you needed a second castle, like, forever ago. You should be on three castles at this point. Yeah. Um... There we go. When is Stop Maker better? When you want to fire instantly. 
Like, you want that first shot to be instant. But your units bug out once you issue a move command, and they, they regroup, so they don't move very far. Uh, this is a good find. <laughs> uh. Uh. Alright, alright. <laughs> oh, this castle. You can't... No, no, don't just attack it with the bills. Bills do, like, no damage to castles. Uh, can you deny this? Oh, that's a lot of eagles, though. Oh, boy. That is a ton of eagles. As I said, Mangadai take a long time to produce, which is why he's able to produce so many eagles in comparison. Because Mangadai just take forever to produce. This is good, but, I mean, if you could save your guys, that'd be even better. Yeah, well, at least you know he's here. You know that his army's kind of insane. Nice. He doesn't have Eldorado yet. No, he does. Wait. Oh, Mangadai are just nuts. Mangadai just shred. No, it's too bad. It's too bad that you didn't get that up. See, look. Every time that you focus fire, your dudes do a little jiggle. And then they, they don't move as far. So you take more damage. Um. Yeah, this is... You can't fight this. You, you just have to give up the, the Treb. Oh, a little bit of colliding, correct? Or or did you manually put these guys here? Because that was just bad. Wait, why aren't you microing? Uh, Levit? Okay, well, you just lost because you didn't micro. GG. A little bit of colliding, correct? Getting half your army to randomly go up here. Beautiful. And then not microing that. Yeah, the game's over now. With micro, you were okay, actually. But your guys... That was like the worst possible fight you could take against eagles. You just split up. So, I mean... You did well this game. Overall, it was fine. It was really just, uh, well, the strategy, opening strategy, opening Mangadai, not the greatest here. Um, opening with the Skirms as well also slowed you down quite a bit. Instead of getting Elite Skirm upgrade, you could have gotten a TC, which would have been a lot better. Uh, but yeah, Step Lancers as Mongols is a very good opening, actually. And against Meso, you really like to go for Cavalry because Cavalry will beat Crossbow and Eagles in certain situations so you're always safe to just open with like knight step lancer here um or even pure step lancer is completely fine so yeah um obviously paying attention to the units in the late game was what lost you the game or not paying attention to the units but uh yeah it's it's a little tricky um you had the right idea, like, your composition was good if you could eventually get to it, but you were still not close to maxing or anything, so, uh, yeah. You still needed to get more Mangadai before adding in Light Cav. Like, you really wanted to get a solid mass of, like, 40 Mangadai before adding in, um, Light Cav. Oh, he had four traps firing when he killed Mangadai. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, how Step Lancers is Cumans? Well, they have no upgrades or no benefits in the Castle Age, so not per particularly strong but uh i mean they're i think it's still a good unit to have you go knight and step lancer step lancers in the back line and you will trade better against pure knights so it it is actually better i figured out the ratio you want to have two knights for every one step lancer and that's like the perfect ratio when you're fighting just pure knights or even against crossbowmen just having the um the back line Step Lancer, they have one range, so that's that's where their real advantage is. They have weaker stats, but you actually have them attacking all the time. 